I don't condone that, but I'm just saying, like, we partied quite often. Jen motherfucking Jen. doing today I hope you're doing well today I have a hilarious story about two different things that happened to the same dude uh, at my house right after I got out of nursing school and was living in my first place um, you know on my own my sister is five years younger than me so when I got out of college and I got a job and I got my own place um, it was the thing for my sister and her friends to come over to my house. We would party a lot. Yeah, she was younger than me, but as long as she was at my house and I was watching her and she wasn't driving and stuff like that, I mean, we would drink. I don't condone that, but I'm just saying, like, we partied quite often at my first place. My sister's name is Jessica, and she had a boyfriend at the time, and her boyfriend had a lot of friends, and one of those friends' names was Brad. Brad was quite the character. Two different stories that I'm going to tell you about. The first one was the night that my sister and Brad and several of their friends had graduated from high school. They all came to my place and they spent the night. I'm not proud of it. I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying you should do this, but their parents knew that they were at my house. They were spending the night and yet yeah, they were drinking, but no one was driving or leaving or going anywhere. This night of graduation, Brad gets super fucking drunk. Like, I don't know how he went from zero to a hundred in no seconds flat, but he did. He was so drunk that he literally walked into the wall and gave himself a bloody nose. Not only did he give himself a bloody nose, but he left a huge hole in my wall. And I had to have it fixed and I was so fucking pissed. But that night, he was just shit-faced and thank God all of us were there to watch him and to take care of him. Well, here is some footage from that night. I just can't even, I just, you know, here we go. Did you hit him? His right nostril's bleeding. <laughs> he ran through the wall and blooded his own nose. <laughs> Again, thank God we were there to watch over him. He passed out on the front porch, and yeah, we were watching him. At one point, we came outside, and a fucking stray cat was sleeping on his stomach. <laughs> he passed out on the front porch. We had to get a sheet, and several of us had to, like, roll him up in the sheet and then, like, carry him in the house so that we could watch him. Looking back at that, like, I'm like, Jen, like, you could have gotten in so much trouble for that shit. Like, don't do this, kids. Don't do it. I am not condoning this. I'm just telling you stupid shit that happened, okay? It was 20 years ago. I can't change it. Someone had asked me on my crazy nursing story video if I had any other funny stories. And I really don't want to get into stories about patients that I have taken care of. I just don't feel that that's right and I don't want to do that. But this is a story story that could fit into that category. As I said, I had graduated nursing school. I was working. I was a registered nurse. And one day my sister asked me if she could have a party at my house. And I told her, well, I have to work the next day, so I really don't want people at my house partying when I have to get up and go to work as a nurse the next day. Like, that's just... No. And I felt bad. And I was like, okay, well, you know, if you all promise that you'll just stay at the house, nobody's going to drive, nobody's going to leave the house, I'll stay at mom and dad's house and you can just, you know, have a party at my house. I don't condone this. Again, I was 23 years old. I made a lot of stupid decisions back then. But I went to my parents' house. I went to bed at a decent time. This was long before everybody had a cell phone and was using them, okay? So I'm at my parents' house and the phone rings in the middle of the night and I answer it. And it's my sister and she's like, Jen. I need you to come over here. I'm thinking, shit, what, what has happened? And she goes, Brad swallowed a beer cap. I said, what, what? She said, yeah, we were playing caps and he swallowed a beer cap. If you don't know what caps is, I don't even know if anybody plays this game anymore, but you would basically sit across from each other and you have a cup sitting in front of you with alcohol in it. It's kind of like playing quarter or beer pong. You would throw the beer cap and try to get it in your opponent's cup. If you got it in their cup, then they had to drink what was in the cup. But the point is, they're not supposed to drink the beer cap. And that's what Brad did, was he drank the beer cap. So she goes, well, he swallowed a beer cap, and he went in the bathroom, and he tried to make himself throw up, but the beer cap didn't come up. And I'm like, 
Jesus Christ, I knew not to let y'all come to my house. I mean, I wasn't there, but I still was like, this is bad. And I said, well, what do you need me to come over for? I can't like reach down his throat and pull a beer cap out. She says, what's he supposed to do? He, he it's, it's there, he can feel it. I said, well, I guess he needs to go to the emergency room. And furthermore, you need to call his mom so that she knows what's going on. His parents didn't get mad at me. I mean, they came over to the house. They took Brad to the ER and they had to keep him awake all night long. They did x-rays and I shit you not, the beer cap was sitting right here. It wasn't turned sideways, it wasn't laying this way, it was just like the beer cap was right here in his throat. Like a fucking boa constrictor had just swallowed a fucking beer cap. They had to keep him awake all night long. He was not allowed to swallow. He had to spit all night long. And the next morning they had to do a procedure where they went down his throat <laughs> with a scope and pulled the beer cap out. What a character. I still see him all the time and I like him a lot. This is just a really funny story. Somebody asked about funny nursing stories and this definitely was a funny nursing story. So anyway guys, that was my story for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. I do videos every Tuesday and Saturday and sometimes I do an extra one during the week. And I have a vlog channel that I post on pretty much every day. I will link everything below. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!